What's up Crispy Works fans? Uh, we back again with another video and uh, in today's video we have another car feature for you guys. Uh, we have something really nice today. Uh, it's right in front of me. Uh, we have a nice classic, another Volkswagen. Um, but yeah, it's one of Shale's good friends and um, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Shale's gonna tell us a bit of what's gonna be happening today. I'm gonna show you guys some dopey roll of the car. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And yeah, let's get straight into it. enjoyed that uh, b-roll that I shot of the car uh, yeah we are loving this one uh, so before Shell goes into a bit on the car and introduces Claude himself uh, I just want to tell a little story about uh, Claude so I haven't met him it's the first time I actually meet him like formally if you guys can say but um, there was one time when I uh, I was I stopped at the KFC to get some food and as I'm getting out the car <laughs> Claude comes towards the car and he's like are you cool are you cool Brookstein and I'm like I freeze you know because <laughs> like I don't know who this is and I'm like yes why then he's like I heard you talking things about me and then I was like nah, I'm just joking I'm one of your viewers and yeah so big shout out to him he shows us a lot of love on the videos and yeah this is his car that we're going to be doing today okay guys so we are today with my good friend Claude um, we met about last year when I was working at Lexus as a technician. He's a sales manager at Lexus and we became very good friends there when I was at Lexus at the time. So guys, actually this is one of the reasons why Crispy Works is actually building the current car that we're building. Because one day Claude brought this baby home to the workshop one day and <laughs> I was just like, wow, I have to have this car. <laughs> but I, I gotta tell y'all, Shale is actually, essentially, when I got the vehicle, probably the first guy to take a drive in the vehicle. So, yeah, no, for sure. We went for our first drive when he brought it. The first thing I asked was like, how much did you pay for it? And how much did you pay for it, Claude? <laughs> <laughs> I paid a measly 45,000 rand for it, in terms of conditions. Yeah, no. So, we went for our first drive. It wasn't selecting all the gears. There was a bit of problems. The rims that he has on now wasn't the same rims he has on. And uh, yeah, there were indicators wasn't working, what else? Uh, just a lot of a lot of mechanical issues on the vehicle. Uh, Shell did a total overhaul on the vehicle. Uh, talking engine, uh, brakes, there's all sorts, but Shell can tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah, no, it was uh, myself, Dylan and Corey. We all work at the Lexus dealership. We all put our hands in together to help uh, Claude with his car. We had some oil leaks and some problems. The car had no power. We did the timing and everything like that. So yeah, the way it is right now, it's because of all our help that we put together to help Claude out. So um, as much as a, of a classic this car is, I need to ask why this car in particular? Chris, I got this car, not because I'm a big golf fan, but um, I'm a big golf cabriolet fan and to me there's a difference. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'll tell you background on it. In 2000, I'm lying to you, in 1998, <laughs> <laughs> my cousin stayed in Bush Poppies and uh, there, were, there, were, there was a girl who lived there and a bunch of gangsters used to visit that house frequently. They had four golf cabriolets, white ones with the black roofs and they I just thought the car looked stunning, but they did this thing with the vehicles. They play, they pump their music, and uh, they put it in first. They leave the doors a slightly ajar. They drive, <laughs> they reverse the vehicle, and the doors start going open. They put it into first, spin the wheels, and go forward, and the doors slam when they pull away. And they call it, <laughs> they call it Dira, they call it uh, Chisa Dira Opentu. 
and that was just the defining moment for this year. And that's why you had to have it. <laughs> no, nice, man. I'm sure whenever you look at this car, it's just what brings brings back that memory. Yeah, absolutely. It's a it, it's it's so nostalgic. Um, it's it's the toy that I've always wanted. You know, you get to a point where you can buy the toy that you want. <laughs> this is my toy, and I get a lot of love on the road with it. Eh? A lot of love. Uh, I can only assume. Man. I can only assume. So, like as you guys can see, this this maroon is so metallic, and uh, uh, to me, I would say it's a like a per pearlescenty uh, maroon. Uh, we did speak off camera, he said he did get it off of Gumtree, would you share more on that? Yeah, uh, so I was looking, 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 searching high and low, Gumtree, OLX, you name it. I was checking uh, junk mail and eventually I found a dude in uh, Pretoria selling the vehicle. I uh, called him up the morning, he said to me that there's something come, someone coming to see me, gassed me up a little bit I think. But I took my driver through, I went through, I saw the vehicle, uh, like you mentioned, color, color was a plus point. Um, and yeah, I paid him the money, I didn't think twice, but you know, people are never forthcoming, so he didn't tell me about all the issues and all the, the little detail and how difficult it is to find parts and such with the vehicle. Okay, and then yeah, let's go into a bit of the color, man. I, I personally, I love the color on the car. Can you tell us like who done your paint job, what inspired the color, Do you, are you happy with the final product, like tell us. Yeah. Okay, no, thank you, Ko. Um, the, I can't take credit for the initial color. Um, yeah. I thought when I got it, I thought I might have to make it my own and perhaps change the color. Yeah, of course. But um, I took it to new center panel beaters and they just revived the color. Yeah. Uh, it's got the pearlescence, like Chris mentioned. Uh, it's just vivid. Yeah. It's different. Um, that contrast with the with the, the ivory roof. Yeah. It's just. It goes so yeah. nicely. Yeah. It's it's just on form, really so. complements it. The color is different. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, so the for the guys who. Who actually haven't seen this car? Uh, you really have to see this car in person to see the quality uh, of this paint job that uh, they done for Claude. Like it's it's really stunning. Uh, the final product. Yes, I just want to know personally uh, how much how much effort is it taking the roof off? Uh, it's actually really simple. It's really really simple. I asked Shale to to help me out, Chris. So check it out real quick, right? Okay, so Shale just the lever on the inside there conversion there just pull up uh, that's it and then uh, let's just get this on oh, other way <laughs> over you see shall you got a press start okay I see so. and that's it really yeah. simple as that that is nice. <laughs> okay then, can you tell us about the wheel? Because you have a, this wheel, uh, I really think it goes well with the car, color, everything just goes perfect. What uh, what made you choose this wheel? Did you, where did you buy it? Then? Oh, thank you, thank you. Size. Uh, <laughs> it's a, okay, so I had, when I got the vehicle, it had a set of 15-inch uh, ATS cup replicas. Uh, look very very nice like a nice lowered stance yeah, which looks very ideas, yeah. sorry which looks very very nice um but i thought you know in making it my own again i saw these wheels um i saw them at senenko auto parts in ormondi check them out yes. and um they hooked me up with these 17 inch wheels uh, these are three sdm replicas as well okay and then uh do you have a drop coilovers what suspension are you doing here is there a drop of any sort it's it's got a drop yeah um, <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a 60 by 40 drop. Okay. That's what I think it is. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, what we have here is a 1800. It's a 1800 cab. So right here, when we got this car, it had lots of oil leaks, and uh, the car had no power. The timing wasn't in properly, and um, yeah. So Dylan and I and Corey, we all put our hands in together to help Claude with the oil leaks. We, we replaced his rear main seal, we replaced his input shaft seal by the gearbox. We replaced some seals by the cam, by the cam belt, the cam seal, the crank seal. We did the tappet cover, we gave this car service. Dylan did the CV joints, we basically gave this car a whole run through. And uh, he also has a conversion, he did uh, put dust brakes at the back, Golf 2 dust brakes. And it had a problem where the caliper was actually leaking brake fluid and then Dylan actually fixed that for him. So right now it's quite, it's running quite nicely. There's no air leaks in the system. 
now it's breaking much better so yeah yeah so this car is obviously a classic uh, it's not something you sell uh, you hand it down uh, father to daughter mm. um, as he named his car after his daughter as you could say number plate trains there um, yeah it's it's not something you give up this is so rare of a car uh, but honestly this is my first ever one ever seen um, and then yeah uh, I just want to ask Claude is there any future plans that you have for this car <laughs> future plans firstly it's not for sale, not for sale. <laughs> whatever you're offering is not enough um, but I'm not going to sell it uh, I will keep it and there's a lot that I want to do rubber seals uh, I want to take it to MS Motorsport to uh, to adjust my windows uh, sort, sort out the sound system um, and I want to make you know just perhaps customize a little bit more have more ownership of the vehicle overall in the interior still keeping uh, in, in line with the color scheme possibly an engine engine top ah yes 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 yeah uh, she'll mention that to me so perhaps a, uh, a fuel injected engine uh, engine transplant at some point when there's some money more yeah. detail on the window adjustment what do you what do you mean by that all right so with the golf cabriolet um, because the frameless doors your your windows need to be adjusted uh, exact to sit on your rubbers exact um, just to avoid any any leaks and any uh, air noise exactly okay guys so we know how rare this car is is there a problem finding parts for this car <laughs> sure, absolutely <laughs> it's a 1989 carmen golf cabriolet uh, there's definitely an issue with parts i think you know you were you were helping the search for a passenger the passenger door window uh, which we eventually had to import from the uk at about three and a half thousand rand yeah, I have to pay for quality. Eh? Oh. I have to pay for quality. Yeah, you gotta pay for quality. I mean, yeah. for the outcome. Yeah. So far, I'm, when we saw it in the parking lot, it just stood out. Eh? It just stood out. Mm. Okay, guys. So we have just finished up with Claude's car. Firstly, we just wanna say thank you to Claude for bringing his car out. Uh, we really enjoyed it, and uh, he has an awesome car. And we wish him well with his car. And um, yeah. So that's all we got for you guys today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to do the things. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. As I said last time, it's free. Like us, DM us on Instagram or tag us. If you want to do something similar like us, we would really appreciate it. Yeah, drop the like button, drop the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video.